In this project, we're going to create this skateboard deck. The challenge is that this has curves going across its width, curves on its length, and is rounded on the ends. We'll start by creating a profile that shows a section of the skateboard along its width. I can see that it curves up on each end. Next, we'll create a path that we can use to sweep this profile and create the curved ends. This will create the curved board in two directions. Last, we need to create the shape. This is looking down from a top view, and it shows the rounded ends. When this is applied with an intersect and the use of extrude, we have our final shape. I've started a new part studio in millimeters. I'll start a new sketch and put this on the right sketch plane. View normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to start with a center line and snap this coincident to the origin so that I can mirror both sides of my profile. I'll get a line and start with a line that is 50 millimeters and end the line command. Now I know that my curve comes out here so I'm going to create a point that will make the end of the curve. It's somewhere out in this direction. I'll end the point. Using my dimension tool, I'm going to dimension from the origin to the point, and I know this is 105 millimeters halfway across, and the distance from the origin above this line is 9 millimeters. So that defines both ends of my arc. So I'm going to use a tangent arc, make it tangent to the end of this line, and end on my point. With this much drawn, I'm now going to offset this line and my curve. I want this to go up and have a thickness or a distance of offset of 12 millimeters. And I'm going to close the end of this using a line, and I will snap coincident to this point and coincident to the end of the line. With this much done, I can use my mirror, and it wants me to select my mirror line. That'll be the center line. And then select the entities to be mirrored. I'm going to use a crossing window. And this shows me that it creates a region and it's mirrored to the other side, so I'm going to accept this. I'm going to right-click and choose Isometric. And now I need to create the path for sweeping that profile. So we'll start a new sketch. This time we'll be on the front plane. I'm going to right-click and view normal. In this case, I know I need a line that shows this profile going to the right 300 millimeters. And again, I have a point out here at the end of my curve. So I'm going to create a point and put it out here somewhere. Use my dimension tool to go from the origin to my point, and this should be 400 millimeters. And it, from the origin to this point, I want the distance above to be 20. So that defines the end point of my arc. So in this case, I will again use a tangent arc because I want it tangent to the end of this line and ending on my point. Now this creates one half of the path that will be followed by the profile. To create the other half, I will need a center line that I can use for mirroring. So again, I'm going to create a center line. Use my mirror. Choose that center line and then choose these lines to be mirrored. With this, I've created a profile 
for the total sweep of the skateboard deck. Next I will right click and choose isometric and I can see both the profile and the sweep path. I'm going to choose sweep from my feature tools. We'll choose the profile and next we will choose the sweep path and we can click on the entities and you can see that being created. So it creates the curves in both directions. That looks like my correct shape, so I'm going to accept that. Next we need to create our final shape, which will show the accurate width and the rounded ends. To do this, I'm going to need another sketch plane. I'm going to click on my plane tool. This is going to be an offset, which means I can use an existing plane. In this case, I'm going to use the top. Here you see it light up. And I'm going to set an offset distance of 50, which should raise it up above my object that I've already drawn. So I'm going to click on it and you can see it there. If I wanted to expand this sketch plane so I could look at it better, I can just grab it by its corners and expand that up. And now let's look at it from the front and I can see that that sketch plane floats above it. So let's start a new sketch and let's work on this sketch plane. Let's right click and view normal. So here I am looking straight down. I'm going to use a center point rectangle because the origin is the center point and we'll drag this out length of 580 and a width of 200. So that will cut off a little bit on the edges. Now I have a uh, rounded ends and in this case we're going to use a center point arc because I know that the center is going to be here on the center point of this line, that's the end of my rectangle, and then one end and then the other end of the line. We'll do the same thing down here. We'll take the midpoint as the center, end point, snap, end point, snap. With that done I can see everything's well defined. I'm going to accept that. Right click and look at isometric. So in this case we're going to use our extrude tool and we'll choose this profile, but instead of extruding out, we want to use an intersect. And we want the intersect to be going down towards my object, and it's going to be through all. So it's going to go down through that, and it's going to leave behind what intersects that profile with my existing skateboard. So it ends up cutting it to width and rounding off the ends. So we'll go ahead and accept this. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard to turn off the sketch planes. And I can look and see that I have my curves going in both directions and my curved ends. So this completes our skateboard.